everybody welcome back for snippet saturday now i was doing a little bit of research and i wanted to make a snippet book and i did some research and found uh, it's a thing apparently it's an old thing um, but there are not a lot of people that have made them so i'm going to make one and i'm just going to actually play with that for a few weeks i think i might make a few different varieties of snippet books but i have dried these flowers in my little microfleur that I have and I wanted to use one but what I thought so I've made a little cover so I've started gathering bits I made a little cover and I was going to put it on and then I decided it was really fragile and um, it could break and all of that so I actually scanned it in and copied it so I decided to use that now I might change my mind and try again I still I think I've got a still got a spare bit of this um, so th this is a very thick canvas so that's what I'm working with I just found some scraps so I thought I'll that well, that'll do now um, what I'd like to do is use, I've just got some ready-made bits. So this is going to be the size of the book. So it'll be like a snippet book. But what I wanted to use is this from my friend Deshka's um, granny's stash. And so when I was looking at it, so it's like a bias binding, it can be sewn over folded but I kind of liked it like that and I thought it was a really good uh, thing to go underneath and also to join the pages so I've got an idea of what I'm doing but I just wanted to get started I didn't want to give too much away at the start because I think it's wonderful to just watch it unfold rather than be see the finished product already um, so even though this will be the front cover I have every intention of sticking this onto it now I've decided to I, I was looking at haikus <laughs> I don't know don't ask me why I just I felt that I wanted it to be poetic like a poem or a book but I didn't want it to be super long and super wordy so um, I've got a poem by Ezra Pound, um, which is just a haiku, really. It's short. And it's entitled In a Station of the Metro. So this is kind of where I've gotten up to. And I'm feeling like I want this. Uh, you know, I, I think my fine motor skills are... I, can't, I don't know if I can get it fine enough. I would love to paint around this whole thing black to bring in the black and the black but I don't think I've got the right motor skills for that so I think that this is going to end up being sewn on there and I'm going to end up putting on these the words here and I'm still deciding whether I'm going to embroider them I don't want to mess it up that's what the issue is with that so I'm possibly going to cut it down sew it on and that I'm happy with that I'm happy to do that too so it's a you know it's a variety of ideas that I've got and this is going to be sewn on over the top of this so it's like a double thick kind of cover so this is really what I'm working on at the moment, this first little bit. And I decided that this has to be black. And I don't know, I might make some of the other pages black, but for now I'm, I'm working on this. Okay, so I've got glass mat, which is probably, I love them for working on. I don't like them for filming on. They can get all very glary. So I've got any old recyclable container. Uh, I've got some Encre de Chien a la... I shouldn't try to do French, should I? Anyway, Indian ink. Oh, here's the, here's the English version. <laughs> yeah. 
Cinellia Indian ink. <laughs> That's all we need. <laughs> Don't do French, Christina. I mean, do do French, but how about you do it better? Uh, I've had that this for a long time from Melbourne Artist Supplies. So this is really what I want to experiment a bit with. And of course I'm still deciding whether I want all of the pages done that way or just some. Um, but I'm going to decide as I go. How good is this? I love the raw canvas as well. It certainly, um, it's a very, very thick, uh, for, for stretching, had it for years, so I found it in my stash, as I said already. Forget what I've said, my brain's gone into crafting and arting mode. that to dry. That will be stuck on the thing so I can't do anything with that yet. Now we've just got to work on this little one. don't mind that so I might glue that down but I might still stitch over it later Just get a bit of glue paper use some fabric fix I'm thinking when that um, black is dry on the canvas that I'm going to like the contrast, the beige and the black. things gathered. Now it's going to be sewn on that so I don't uh, want to work too much on the back till I know what I'm doing with that because I think this is going to run along here so I'll have to just work out which bit I'm sewing first whether there's some overhang or not. And the whole, my idea is that I'm going to join this bit like this, so that's, that's the hinge, like that. 
I don't, I back, I've added in um, a little bit of lace here and I've done some zigzag stitching down the side and here so this is attached now and a little bit of straight stitch around there so this is um, how it looks on the back now I, I, I don't mind it but what I decided to do um, because it doesn't have to be a big book in fact it's not because it's a haiku so it's just going to I'm going to be stitching this onto here um, but what I've done is pinned down these and these will be like this and I've dyed another bit which will come onto the back here so yes there will be a little bit um, oh no it won't show All right, I've accidentally pinned two bits there and that's not meant to happen there we go So I'm just going to take this to stitch the machine, then I'll be able to complete this and join the front and then put this one on the back. Righto, so I've um, sewn it, done a zigzag stitch, um, This, a lot of this is going to be covered. And that's where we're at for this snippet Saturday. The cat's going ballistic. She's going to try to jump in the window. <laughs> and that's going to join to that. Now I may end up deciding to cover this and also put something here so I think I'm thinking that I might end up with um, let's have a look something like a bit of this that covers over onto the back bit but um, I'll think about that during the week. So this is where we're up to for this snippet book. And um, I hope you're enjoying this and it gives you some ideas for something a little bit different from our explorations. And I'll be back next Saturday with another the rest of this. And uh, I'll see you before then, I am sure. All right. Uh, take care. Lots of love. Bye.